shock and disbelief. That is the general feeling in this small Ugandan village, which witnessed an unprecedented massacre on Friday night. Dozens of secondary school students were killed after assailants broke into the premises, setting fire to the pupils' dormitory building. Some of the victims were burned beyond recognition. Others were shot or stabbed to death. Right now we are here trying to put together the dead bodies that are beyond, were burnt beyond recognition uh, in the hostel that, so that they can be partitioned and numbered to enable them to follow up their DNA as the parents come to claim their uh, students who have been here. Out of those lucky enough to survive, several were injured while others have been kidnapped. Authorities are blaming the attack on five men, members of the Allied Democratic Forces an Islamist militia that has been rebelling against the Ugandan government since the 90s and pledged allegiance to the Islamic State group in 2017. According to the Ugandan military, they are in hot pursuit of the attackers. However, some are taking out their anger on the security forces that they say should have been protecting their fellow citizens. If they are telling us the borders are secured, security is tight, I want the security to tell us where they were when these killers came, uh, came to kill our people. Uh, should, should we say they are rebels that came to kill our people? Is this security within Uganda? Why is it that we see them scattered here? Where were they at night? It's believed that the five men have fled with the hostages over the border into the Democratic Republic of Congo, where the army is currently conducting an operation. Now questions.